Hi, in this problem we have that the second derivative of a function is equal to 2 plus cosine x. We also have these two conditions. We're told that f of 0 is negative 1 and f of pi over 2 is 0. And the question is to find f. Let's go ahead and try to do this. So I'm thinking we're going to have to integrate both sides of this equation to start. And you'll notice that both of these conditions are on the original function. So we're just going to have to find f and then use the conditions to find the constants. So integrating this one time brings us to f prime of x, right? because if you integrate the second derivative, you get the first derivative. Integrating 2, you get 2x. Integrating cosine, you get sine, right? because the derivative of sine is cosine, plus a constant of integration, capital C. And there's still nothing we can do. In most of these problems, usually you have like an f here and an f prime, but in this one, it's both f, so we have to integrate again. So integrating f prime, we get f of x. For this one, we can use the power rule. There's a 1 here, so you'll get 2x squared over 2, so the 2s will cancel. So we'll just get x squared. Integrating sine, you're going to get negative cosine. And then here we have plus c times x. It's a constant, so you put an x, plus a constant of integration, which I'll call k. Right? You can't call it the same thing. All right, so this is our function, so now we just have to use these conditions. Let's use the first one here, f of 0. It's going to be 0 squared minus cosine of 0 plus c times 0 plus k, and that's equal to negative 1. Cosine of 0 is 1, so this will be negative 1 plus k equals negative 1. Oh, that's interesting, plus 1 plus 1, k is 0. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that back in here to f. So f of x is equal to x squared minus cosine x plus um, cx. So now we have to find c. So we're told that f of pi over 2 is 0. So I'm just going to plug in pi over 2 for all the x's. Okay. Everywhere there's an x, you just put a pi over 2. And then you set the whole thing equal to 0. This is going to be pi over 4, or pi squared over 4, because you squared the pi, you squared the 2. Um, cosine of pi over 2 is going to be 0, right? Because that's the um, x coordinate on the unit circle. On the unit circle, every ordered pair is of the form cosine theta, sine theta. And so at pi over 2, the x coordinate is 0. So this is going to be 0 plus c times pi over 2, and that's equal to 0. So we'd have to solve this for c, so I guess we can subtract this. So we have c times pi over 2 equals negative pi squared over 4. And I guess we can multiply now by the reciprocal of pi over 2, like this. Boom, 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 boom. c is equal to, you lose a pi here, so we get negative pi, 2 goes into 4 twice, you get negative pi over 2. That's our c. Now we just take this and plug it back into this. So the final answer will be f of x equals x squared minus cosine x minus pi over 2 times x. That'll be it, right? Just putting the minus pi over 2 wherever the c is. Kind of an interesting problem, very different from a lot of the other problems because you don't have a derivative. It makes it a little bit harder, right? It's a little bit more work than uh, similar problems of this type. Good luck.